S'il vous plaît, accueillez du Comité Canada-Tibet, M. Sherap Erchin, qui en est le directeur. Uh, thank you, Honorable Re Leader of the Bloc Quebecois. And thank you, uh, members of the uh, media, for coming here today. So I'm uh, here speaking on the behalf of Canada Tibet Committee, uh, Tibetan Advocacy Group, along with some of my friends from uh, Tibetan Group here. So the attack on Tibetan language, culture, and identity by the Chinese government is almost at all-time high. With You might have heard about the forced separation of over one million Tibetan children into colonial boarding school. You might have heard about the forced collection of uh, biometric data and DNA sample. And when we try to raise awareness about such human rights violations happening in Tibet, in Canada, when our leaders, elected Tibetan leaders, try to raise awareness about it in Canada, we face opposition, we face uh, interference from the Chinese government. For example, in uh, April 2022, last year, when Tibetan elected leader, President Sikyong Pempasin, when he uh, came to Ottawa, when he talked about all the human rights violations happening in Tibet, and when he testified before the Foreign Affairs Committee, the Chinese consulate uh, in Ottawa raised objection against it. Similarly, we have a large number of Tibetan Canadians who still have families inside Tibet. When they try to communicate with their family inside Tibet, their family receive threat. And when they try to uh, visit their family, when they try to apply for visa, they receive certain conditions about uh, applying for visa. They are asked whether they have any participated in any events uh, that, are, uh, that call for objection against the Chinese policy in Tibet. They are called to condemn our spiritual leader, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. They are called to condemn the elected Tibetan leader from the Central Tibetan, Tibetan Administration. So with all this interference happening at different level, not just at individual level, but also at organizational level. In 2019, we had a fake Tibetan, I uh, stress this word, fake Tibetan organization in Toronto backed by Chinese government that's so participation from uh, not, and we see this participation from uh, you know uh, elected Canadian representative at all level, not just at the federal level. We saw a representative uh, from provincial level, municipality level, participating in this level. That spread misinformation about development uh, happening inside Tibet. They forged a letter, uh, signed a, a forgery of a signature from Honorable Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. That, that happened in 2019. So with all this, uh, and, and as an activist, I find it very difficult with the ongoing environment of Chinese interference and influence in Canada to have a free uh, environment to promote, to talk about human rights violation. I call for an independent public inquiry on this issue. Thank you.